do they access care in a scenario where even their doctors have difficulty finding care for it? So there, there are there's no question there there are major challenges. We have a real short we have a shortage of rheumatologists. We have a shortage of mental health providers. But there are many good opportunities to work on your mental health. There are stress management courses. Uh, there are antidepressant uh, skills courses that are available online. Um, we may, we'll make some of those resources available. Um, they're evidence-based. They, they do exactly the same thing that I do in treatment with patients, and they work for most people. It is really only a minority of people who need the one-on-one face-to-face. So many people, if they can you know, do a little bit of reading, do a little bit of journaling, um, some structured activities that are part of the workbooks, um, can be feeling quite differently in four to six weeks. It's learning, it's learning how to get out of the rut quickly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For others, uh, for many people, there are opportunities through work, employee assistance programs. Mm-hmm. So there will be mental health counselors that are available. Um, they can get the ball rolling, and if they're not enough, usually they're very well positioned to hook you into other resources. We have some major initiatives uh, across Canada. Better Health is one of them. Um, online initiatives that uh, have a combination of online resources and being able to touch base with a therapist uh, periodically. You want to know you're, I won't say accountable to someone, but there's someone you're going to discuss your pro- progress with in terms of what um, strategy you're using to enable, you know, self-management health, essentially.